Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to repair the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Check this thing out. The back of the phone is just completely shattered and the front screen got just ripped off. This full screen replacement and back glass replacement is probably gonna take me about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna show you guys every step of the way. Let's get right into it. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. All right, so here we have the Samsung Note 20 Ultra. As you can see, the back glass is shattered. I don't know how this broke. I didn't ask him questions. Uh, some guy brought it in and uh, he said he's actually wants to get this fixed so he can give it to an older friend of his. So he already has another phone he said he bought, but he says this one still works. It's a little bit bent. I think that's where it broke right here. You see like there's kind of like a dent right there. I don't know, maybe it like fell between the door and he closed it on there and then this front screen got ripped off. But anyways, for an example, cause I do sell these in my store. I sell refurbished phones. So this is how it's gonna look after the repair. So here's a Samsung Note 20 Ultra. This still has a wrapper on it, right? So this phone is somehow gonna turn and look like something like this. So let's get into the parts that I'm gonna use. So here's the new back glass. It's easy to put on. All you do is just take this off and slap a new back on there, right? But here's the front screen. And for those of you guys that wanna know like where to get these parts, I'm gonna start linking, putting links in my YouTube videos underneath in the description. So you guys can um, just click and just buy if you guys, if this is the phone that you're fixing or if this happens to be one of your phones, right? All right, so this is what they call a service pack. And a service pack already has the screen protector already installed on the phone. If you can see, there you go. You see here's the cutout for the little front, uh, for the front camera right there. But this, screen protector is already perfectly installed onto this phone. And yeah, here's the fingerprint scanner. This phone, the fingerprint comes like right there. So how much am I charging for this repair and how much are, do these parts cost for me for this on this particular day? So I'm charging $375 for this repair. This screen right here actually costs $236. This back glass right here, with this already installed on it with a camera with this little camera thing on there cost twelve dollars so in total i'm going to make 127 dollars on this repair alone this repair generally takes me like 45 minutes all right let me clear the table and let's get this started all right so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take off this back cover and generally the way that i take off back covers on samsung phones is by using this tool right here and poker playing cards. But as you guys see, this thing is just shattered beyond whatever, right? First, take out this Galaxy S Pen right here because I'm gonna heat up the phone and you don't wanna heat up the, the S Pen. So take that out, put it to the side. Now let's heat up the back of the phone. All right, so here's the back cover. So even though this is shattered, we actually need something off of here. So as you can see, there's like a little microchip right there. So what we're gonna do is take that little chip off right here. It looks like it's a microphone for, a, for the camera. And we're just gonna, it's just gonna transfer onto right there. All right, but we'll do that later in the, uh, in the video when I go to put this new back glass back onto the phone. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take out a whole bunch of screws. There's probably like 20 of them here, all down here and right here. Don't take the ones off the sides like the 5G antennas right here. Sometimes these screws are hard to take out too. All right, so we got all the screws out. Now 
we are going to take off these plastic pieces. Okay, so first we're gonna wanna unplug this right here. See this? Unplug that. This thing will come out like this. Just grab it. Oh, unplug this right here. Now this thing will come out. You can kind of grab this like this. Now we're gonna take out this bottom uh, loudspeaker. We're gonna grab a tool like this. There we go, just like this. So this whole piece will come out just like this with the loudspeaker and everything, right? We'll put this right here and we're gonna take this thing out right here. So we're gonna look where there's connections, right? You see a connection right here that looks like it's the camera flash or something like that. Then this thing will kind of come up. And then as you can see, this looks like it's an ear speaker right here. And yeah, the camera flash, I believe. We'll put that here. We'll actually put this stuff to the side. We don't need this to look at this anymore, so we'll put it aside. We'll also put these screws in this dish right here and get these screws out of the way. They're all the same size. All these screws are the same size. It doesn't matter if you get mixed them mixed up. All right, so what do we have next right here? Let's just start unconnecting stuff. Actually, here's the, gonna be the game plan. As you guys see, here's the rest of the phone. Here's the uh, new screen, right? So basically the game plan is to take everything out of here and just put it in here, right? That's gonna be your whole thing right there. But first I wanna see if this phone really does still work. So we're gonna connect the, the screen in right now and we're gonna see if this phone actually boots up and everything. So I'm gonna unplug the battery. <clears throat> Here's the screen connection right here. I'm gonna take this connection, cause this is a screen, and plug it right into the motherboard right here. All right, so plug the battery back in right here, and then push the power. You're gonna want to hold, push down right here, because the way that this is gonna turn on is it makes contact, right? There you go. So remember that guys, if you guys have no experience, if you push the power button, it's not gonna do anything because the motherboard is not making contact with the power button. So you push down into it. That's why you put the screws back and it does that for you. All right, so we're gonna test the screen out a little bit. I'm gonna touch the numbers and stuff, make sure the screen works. The phone works perfectly fine. Here it is. I'm sure he's gonna wipe this phone out before he gives it to his friend. So. So what I'll do is just power off the phone. I'll just unplug the battery here, see? And then just unplug the screen. And this repair is a go, right? So you see this plastic piece right here? Put this back onto the phone because there's probably some glass, little shards of tiny dust particles of glass that's on here that you can't see, right? And then what happens is if this plastic piece is off, you start rubbing this right here and you start scratching the screen. I found out about that when I in my coffee shop days because I actually did that with somebody's phone and I, I didn't realize what I was doing, right? So always put the plastic piece back on when you're working on the phone. Okay, so now let's begin the repair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna unplug connections. We're gonna unplug this, unplug this, unplug this, unplug this, and we're gonna start one by one, removing stuff from here and then placing it here, okay? So the what we're gonna wanna, I'm gonna do first is you see this screw right here? Take that out and we're gonna start one by one. We're gonna transfer this thing over right here. So take out that screw. Take this thing out right here. 
we're gonna take out these two screws where the charging port is right here. See, here's the other screw right here. Now I'm gonna blow some heat right here. I'm gonna blow heat. The reason why I blow heat is because this charging port has a little bit of sticky stuff under it. Under it. And I'm gonna grab my flat tool like this. This is not a screwdriver or anything. It's like kind of like a plastic kind of black stick. And I get right under it and I scoop right under it. And then this thing will come out like that. There you go. So you don't wanna cut this thing right here. See this thing right here? You don't wanna cut it. That's why I slide the tool like this. And I go underneath it, right? Underneath it and then kind of twist and lift this thing up a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna to wanna to take out the vibration motor right here and I'm gonna blow heat on it. All right, so here's my flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna get underneath this, like right down here on the side and just pluck this out like that. Usually the adhesive is still stuck on there like this one is, you see, it's still stuck on there. If it's not and it's on here still and just cut out a piece of tape you don't want this thing jiggling around when it vibrates, right? The way that it works is something in there is spinning around like this. Boom, you know how your uh, remote, like your Nintendo controllers or whatever, something spins? That's how it vibrates, right? It does the same thing in there. So we're gonna put this right here. There we go, there it is. We're gonna put the charging port in next. Flip it around, make sure it fits in there. There you go. And then we're gonna put the two screws back in. Then we're gonna put this thing right here. I don't really know what this is, but it's for something, right? So we're gonna place this right back here. And then this thing also has a screw to hold it down. Here's a screw. See this right there? So there's the whole bottom piece right here. That's all in. So now we, we tackled that area, right? So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is take out this whole motherboard and we're just gonna take it out like this. So we're gonna, you see these connections right here? We're just gonna unplug. Unplug this, unplug that, unplug this unplug the front selfie camera and remember this sim tray eject this sim tray thing right here should be already out of the phone and what, I, what you're going to want to do to take this motherboard out is you're going to kind of wiggle it out so you're going to find a spot there it is came out just like that this is actually your samsung note 20 ultra phone everything else Everything that you see here is connected in here. You see all these connections, boom, 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 battery, everything. All these connections plug into here. Camera plugs into here. The 5G antennas plug into here. Everything plugs into here. Everything runs off of this. This is the brains, right? So we'll put that here. So as you can see, we're, we're almost, I would say 40% of the way done already. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna transfer the 5G antennas, which are right here. It's held down by two screws, and then there's one over here on this side. There's two 5G antennas. So let's start transferring one by one. We'll start off with this one on the right. All right, we took out the two screws. I'm gonna blow a little bit of heat around this area because there's a little bit of adhesive that's stuck underneath it that's holding the 5G antenna there. All right, so we're gonna grab this little iSesimo tool, they call it right here. We're gonna kinda see if this thing lifts out. Well, this thing was already out, I guess. It wasn't hard. See, there's adhesive on there. That's how it's sticking on my finger, right? It's a little bit warm too. So 
<clears throat> we're just gonna put this right back in here. There we go. It fit all the way in right there. And grab our two screws and screw the screws back in. All right, so before we do the other one, hold on, somebody's calling. All right, I'm back. i recording this during my store is open. So you see these uh, plastic pieces? These are nothing. Just this thing is goes in the garbage, right? Also with this, let's just get this out of the way so it's not confusing. This little thing. There we go. Also this thing right here. Here's another like wrapper kind of thing that's covering. There you go. Toss this out. Okay. So we're gonna take off this 5G antenna and just transfer it. All right, so that's done. So now we have the 5G antennas installed, this bottom port part <laughs> installed. So what do we really have to do? What's, what's left? The battery and the front selfie camera. That's all we have to do to transfer over. Why don't we start with the front selfie camera? This is kind of tricky because the way that they do these on the newer Samsung phones, you'll see that there's kind of like a silicone they put around the camera right here to hold it in, in place and it's kind of hard to get out. So the way that I get this thing out is I use a pair of tweezers like this, sharp tweezers, and I slide in to the side. Don't damage the camera, right? Don't rip this thing. Just get around the side, like kind of break the seal right here. I'll just show you, look. Grab the straight side first. We'll start on the right. There it is. Lift up a little bit. Now go right here on the side. Remember, don't pierce the camera with this. Go through just like this, like that. I don't know if you can see it. I'll grab this, see if this thing can lift out yet. Kind of wiggle it around, see if it moves. There we go, it's coming out. There you go. See? See the silicone on the sides? Some of it's probably left here. Yeah, there it is. See that? That's the silicone that's on the side right there, okay? Sometimes when you get this, there's kind of some silicone that's in there. If you're buying a refurbished screen, just pluck it out on the screen that you got. Okay, we'll put the front selfie camera aside and always use your original parts. Sometimes these phones used to come with their own cameras, but the cameras didn't work. Always use the original parts from your phone and transfer them over. All right, so the last thing that we need to do to get out of this is we're gonna have to take out this battery. The way that I take out this battery is I blow kind of heat on this side. As you can see, there's no screen. I forgot about this. And then we'll use alcohol. So I'm going to use alcohol. This is just regular stuff that I got from CVS, 91% alcohol. I'm going to put it right here. Pour some here, as you can see. I'm going to pour some on the side. Right here. Holy crap. This thing came out, dude. Why the hell did that happen? All right. Top fell off, all right. All right, so we'll let it sit a little bit. Kind of let it marinate. We'll grab this tool right here and we'll kind of lift up. So. The whole game plan is to try not to bend the battery. It's already kind of bent a little bit because I remember that little kink on the side, but we'll go here on the side and we'll just lift. And I could already feel the battery lifting up a little bit. 
maybe lift it up a little. Now I can place some more alcohol underneath. Move it around underneath the battery and then lift again. Probably get this tool right here. Get it under there. And then just grab this battery and just pull it out. There we go. I gotta answer the phone, but look at this battery. All right, so there's alcohol on the battery on the back. So we're just gonna wipe that off with the rag. There's alcohol in here. Kind of wipe that out. We actually don't need anything else from this phone. If you see some connections right here, this phone already has these connections right here. This connection is for the, uh, the S Pen Flex cable that goes underneath the entire screen. This right here is for the uh, S Pen, which there's already a, it already has its own S Pen connection already installed onto the new screen. See, this piece right here is this piece right here. So that's it. There's the power button thing. This already has its own buttons and power stuff already installed. This is junk. This is crap. We do not need this anymore. Put this aside. All right, so let's focus on this. Let me completely dry this battery of any other alcohol. Now, sometimes alcohol does get into this little hole right here. And if it does, I want you to blow it out because the alcohol will blow out the other side. So like actually like blow it out, put it by your mouth and blow the alcohol out. See how some of the alcohol came out? So what we're gonna wanna do is put this motherboard right, right in here. Go like this, get underneath the connections. Place that in there like that. Get your front selfie camera, install that, plug it back in. See here's some silicone on here. Let's see. Okay, this silicone is getting in the way, so I gotta take this off. Alright, we'll see if it fits in there now. Not quite yet. Holy crap, look at what I was telling you guys. I mentioned this. This thing has freaking silicone in there. I didn't even see it. That's why it wouldn't fit in there. So take this silicone out. There you go. This is from the old screen because this this frame is original. So it's probably buffed out of all scratches and it's it's probably a refur refurbished frame. So you see that? Take that out. That's why the camera wouldn't fit in there, right? All right. Now it fits in there. Look. And then plug it in. There it is. I felt it plug in with my fingers. All right, that's in. Now all we have to do, get silicone. All right, uh, we're going to install the battery on here. Let me get some adhesive and I'll show you. All right, so sometimes this comes with adhesive here, but in this case, on this frame, it didn't come with any, so we have to cut our own strips of adhesive. This is double side adhesive. I actually buy this stuff on eBay. It's just called red cell phone tape. This is what they, uh, five milliliters, I, I guess. I don't know what they call it. We're gonna take the battery, just rub out any of these folding parts. Just kind of make this flat area back here. All right. And then we'll just place this in here. Just like that. Place that in there. We'll plug in these connections right here. Plugged in. Plug this in up here. You guys heard it click. We'll plug this one in down here. 
I felt it go in. All right, plug in the 5G antenna. Where is this? Did I put this in backwards? Oh my God, I freaking did. I put this in backwards. All right, so I gotta take out the 5G antenna and just turn it that way. That's why this thing was hard to put in when I was first putting it in, okay. Here we go, put it this way. All right, and then this thing goes just like that. There you go. Then these things plug in right here. That plugs in there. This thing plugs in down here. We'll put the two screws back to hold it down. All right, put the other one there. That is the first time I've ever done that and put it backwards, but I mean, obviously you'll know if you put it in backwards because you won't be able to plug in the connections, right? Because they're at, they're different sizes, right? So, all right. All right, so then we'll plug in these thing, these three right here. There's this one right here for the S Pen. Plug that in. Plug in this one. And then plug in this one. I always double check, make sure I can feel it with my nail, like that. We can go ahead and plug in the battery right now. Plug in the battery. Battery's plugged in. Everything's in. All this stuff is in, okay. We're almost done. So we'll plug this thing in. We'll start at the bottom. Flip it around like this, we'll get this out of the way. All right, so we'll plug this in. Bottom first. Kind of pops in. This thing is not popping in on the bottom, so take it out and put it back in again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now it's all plugged in. It wasn't popping in in this area down here, so I took it out and put it right back in. All right, so that's in. We can now put this thing in first because this is gonna overlap onto this piece, right? So we're gonna put this at the top. There it is. You see this connection? Let's pop in, let's plug it in. That's plugged in. This thing's gonna overlap like this, right? And then there's two connections right here. This one and this one, right? I'm gonna lay it on here. And we're gonna plug this in. And we're gonna plug this one in right here. There it is. Now, we're gonna put all of these screws back right here. We're gonna put them all back. All right, so we got all the screws in. Here's the S pen right here. It comes down in here, clicks right in. Now we're gonna install this back piece. And I remember how I said in the beginning, we're gonna transfer this over to here. Let's take this kind of thing right here off. This thing has its own adhesive already installed on it. Take these plastic pieces off. One right there. All right. So as we can see, this thing goes right here. It even has these little like dummy proof things how to install it right here. These little notch points. So the way I'm gonna take this off is I'm gonna blow heat on this side. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna slide this underneath. There we go. As you will see, 
This thing still has adhesive. That's the mic. The adhesive still around that piece. And then we'll just grab the new back and just install it. You see how there's a kind of like a cutout right here? Let me get on that. There's a cutout. Place this just like this. Like that. There we go. So it aligns perfectly. There you go. So you can just slap this back cover on like this. But the thing is, I know that this, for this particular phone, this is not enough adhesive. We're almost done though, as you can see. I'm gonna put some more adhesive around this right here. Okay, so now we're just gonna slap this thing back on right here. Like this fingers like this push down turn the phone on <clears throat> and there we go and that everybody is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G phone repair screen repair and back glass replacement Guys, remember, link for parts, look in the description. And for those of you guys that want to do kind of like what I do, you guys are interested, I do have a cell phone repair course. Check the link in the description underneath the video for that. Still even have the plastics around the frame. There you go. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.